My life is about adventure. That's a good thing, because adventure has a way of finding Charlie Engel. And I will say this, I've got a few stories to tell. <laughs> And the stories he began telling us nearly seven years ago... Hi, I'm Charlie Engel, and I'm into pain. ...were of extraordinary feats... I always take my camera along with me so that I can document my suffering... ...and a will that it seemed could never be broken. If you give me just a few minutes, I'd like to show you where I've been. Because until you see it, you probably won't believe it. Everyone is aghast at at how this could happen, how something like this could actually happen here. Imagine running 50 miles per day. Charlie appeared to be on top of the world after working with Academy Award winner Matt Damon to produce a documentary about his 4,300-mile run across Saharan Africa. Running across the entire Sahara Desert. And followed that up with one documenting his trek across America. I think we all have demons, and, and Charlie has a whole bunch of them. But one man couldn't quite fathom Charlie's success. Robert Nordlander is an agent at the IRS who has what some folks think is a peculiar way of choosing his targets. The New York Times reports that Nordlander told a grand jury that if he sees someone driving a fancy car, he might check into their finances to see if they can really afford it, even if there's no evidence that they can't. The Times also reported that Nordlander testified to the grand jury that he just couldn't figure out how a guy like Charlie Engel living in a modest apartment here on the north side of Greensboro could possibly afford to train for running across continents. Well, that's all the evidence Nordlander needed, according to the reports, to start culling through his dumpster so that when Charlie came home one night... And I noticed some movement off to the side, and it turned out to be six armed federal agents uh, coming to arrest me. I, I, like, I like turned around and looked behind me to see who they were after and it, it, it turned out it was me. They were very much after Charlie and this time there was no place even he could run. I actually was told very early on by a trusted friend that in fact when you're arrested by the federal government you have a 99.5 percent chance of going to prison. So I had a reality check very early on. I missed birthdays and holidays. I missed precious visits with my mother, visits that could have been used to pass her fading memories to my clearer mind. I missed high school dances, college visits, test anxiety, and the heartaches of my teenage boys. Even though nearly no high-ranking bank executive was sent to jail over the subprime mortgage crisis, Charlie was sent to this federal prison in West Virginia for 21 months after being tried for mortgage fraud more specifically, the government claimed someone had falsely inflated Charlie's income to acquire loans in his name, and Charlie signed the final papers. I've been down some, some tough paths in my life, and uh, fair or unfair, this is one I, was, I knew I was just going to have to deal with. Charlie dealt with it like he does most things, by running. But not running away, running toward the challenge and bringing dozens of guys with him. This is just part of the group that ran and worked out with Charlie in his nearly two years at Buckley. And after a period of time, I was working with as many as 50 guys in there. I had 11 guys that lost more than 100 pounds working out with me. And when he wasn't running. As for getting beyond the situation, I hope it happens quickly, but there is no guidebook for this. He was writing. No requisite time for getting past the hurt of injustice. No proper period of mourning the life I used to have. Nearly 2,000 pages, much of it became his blog, Running Still. I know how to get beyond physical pain, but this is different. The answer will not be found in blindly trudging forward, hoping that things get better, waiting for months to go by to heal my pain and take away my anger. Pain and anger from the fact that the company that he was dealing with for the loans that sent him to prison, Countrywide, was just sued by federal prosecutors who called the company's practices spectacularly brazen. But the court ordered Charlie to pay more than a quarter of a million dollars in restitution for their little loan deal. It's a bit like an oil tanker running aground in your backyard and, and you end up being charged for the cleanup. Although some of his more recent writing sounds a bit dire. Too many days start with an inventory that I don't want to take. I live in borrowed space, I drive a borrowed car, I need to help my mother and to spend more time with my kids and can't seem to do either one. I wake up angry and fearful most every day, but that place is so uselessly painful that I know I can't stay there. Charlie Engel is, at heart, an optimist who believes there isn't anything that a good run, so to speak, can't fix. Fear rules most people's lives. 
fear of loss, fear of insecurity. It's not about living a, a, a reckless, free life. It's about, it's about living, though. And waiting for a good run to start. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News.